Well, it's actually something that I wanted to do uh, for a long time. Not necessarily being an entertainment lawyer, but when I was about 16 or 17, I really made up my mind that I wanted to be in the music business. And so uh, that was right about when I went to college. So, you know, probably like a lot of people, uh, you know, I did everything I could that was related to the music business. I did, you know, started off really uh, doing um, tech work, you know, and setting up concerts for, the, for our college, you know. I was on the tech staff there, so whenever bands would come play, you know, someone obviously had to move the cases around and build the stage and hang the, hang the lighting trusses and all that, so I was doing that. Um, and did that, actually, the whole time I was in college. That sort of branched out into uh, working in a recording studio and being a second engineer for a while, because at one point I'd wanted to be a producer. Um, and, you know, along the way I did, you know, kind of whatever I could. I managed a couple bands for a while, um, unsuccessfully. I uh, uh, wrote reviews for, you know, the local papers and our school paper and things like that. And, you know, uh, just kind of whatever I could do, you know. And uh, ultimately, when I started getting towards the end of, of college, I was, uh, I was a media major, um, which is sort of like a combination of, you know, communications and art history and sort of the theory of, of film and all that. And, you know, uh, I, I was pretty clever, I think, thinking I better figure out what I'm going to do here because this degree is not going to get me very far. So I was thinking about what I would do. And, um, you know, I knew that the, that the record business, or I'd heard at that point that the record business was run by lawyers and accountants. And so my, really, my thoughts were, well, you know, this film thing's kind of fun. Maybe I'll, you know, maybe I'll go in graduate school for film, or maybe I'll get an MBA, or maybe I'll go to law school. So I picked up a book on business law over the holidays, and I was just reading through it, and I was going like, well, this is easy enough. <laughs> I can do this. So uh, that was sort of the moment when I said, okay, I'm going to law school. And um, uh, funny enough, I think that actually I would, had a tremendous advantage over the people I was going to school with because when I, when I went, I knew exactly what I wanted to do with my life. I wanted to be, you know, a music attorney. So I hit the ground running. And I was, you know, I was uh, basically had gone in. We had an entertainment guru at our uh, school at the time named Lon Sobel. And, you know, first day of class, I was in there in his office saying, I want to be a music attorney. How does that work? And he said, well, you know, you really shouldn't, you know, you shouldn't uh, uh, think that, like, think about that right now. You might change your mind. I said, no, I'm not going to change my mind. Uh, he goes, well, you know, basically you just, you go through the normal law school thing for a while, you know, for, you know, deal with your first year. It's a difficult year of adjustment. And then over the uh, summer, you know, get an, get an internship, uh, like a normal internship in a real firm, not even an uh, entertainment-oriented one. And then, um, you know, come back to your second year, and for your, your second summer, work in an in a, um, entertainment firm or a uh, you know, record company or publishing company, whatever it was. And uh, then he said, you know, and then after that, you go out and you work for three to five years in, like, corporate law or something like that, and then lateral over into the entertainment practice. And I was like, no way. I mean, I looked pretty much the same then. And, you know, I had long hair, and I had, you know, torn up jeans. I was wearing band shirts, and, you know, uh, and I was just like, there's no way that I'm going to do that. So uh, what I did was at the, um, I, I went through the first semester of my law school, and when I got my results back from my test, I was like, oh, okay, this is fine. Like, I'm, you know, I adjusted, I, you know, did very well. And um, so in the beginning of the next year, or the beginning of the next um, calendar year, you know, in the, in the second semester, I started making uh, cold calls to, uh, to all the publishing companies. And I was in L.A., so there's a lot of opportunities there, you know, the music publishers, record companies, you know, whoever I could contact. And really, like, over the course of a few hours, uh, I ended up getting, like, four or five interviews. And uh, one of the interviews was with Capitol Records. And uh, I just got lucky. They had, you know, when I, when I called the woman, she was like, uh, you know, well, God, how would you hear about this? We haven't even posted this yet. I said, I, I didn't hear about anything. I was just calling. And they had just gotten an internship approved. So I went in and I met her and, you know, gave her my spiel. And she was like, wow, you're perfect. Let's, you know, when can you start? And it was like Friday. I said, Monday's great. You know, let's go. So I started working um, for her. She was the assistant to the vice president and just faxing and stuff like that, you know, and filing stuff and just really crappy work. And, um, you know, after a month or so, I was like, I went into her boss, who was the vice president of the uh, business affairs, and I said, you know, Bob, I think, I think you can get more out of me here. Like, you know, I can do more than faxing. Why don't you, like, you know, why don't you give me a shot? So he gives me this file, 
And he says, why don't you read this? Because it's a fairly clean file. It's a fairly new deal. You can see sort of how everything works and, you know, all that. So uh, I, uh, I was reading through the file and reading through the file, and, and there was some stuff that really wasn't making sense to me, but I, I really tried to figure it out because I didn't just want to go in there and say, you know, help me, Bob. But I figured out that, you know, I really couldn't figure it out. And I was like, you know, this stuff is really confusing here. Can you, you know, can you explain this to me? And I, it ended up that I caught like two or three mistakes in the contract that, that they didn't make sense. And he's like, okay, from now on you work for me. So that was sort of the beginning of, uh, you know, my, my legally type career, you know, the legal type career.